Hey everyone, I'm Jesse. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Strix Outdoors. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Benelli Super Black Eagle 3. It's going to be a follow-up video um, to some of the ones I've done previously. I think I have about 2,000 rounds plus through this gun so far, and I've never cleaned the magazine tube. I've used this for duck hunting, for clays, um, dove shoots, etc., for hunting in a lot of situations, and here more recently I went through some pretty rough weather, uh, rain, cold, I was in a pond, the stock of this was submerged about half of the way, half of the time I was hunting, and uh, this thing didn't miss a beat. But I did notice on the subsequent hunt, um, it still functioned flawlessly, but the, the feed tube for shells felt a little gritty. And so um, I thought I'd take this opportunity and do another white shirt test and clean this out and take a look how how gunked up it is or it isn't. We'll see. So this is going to be my white shirt for today. You can see it's clean or pretty clean on both sides. So what, what we'll do is I'll uh, show you how to remove the um, plug and the spring. We'll take it out, we'll wipe it down, wipe the inside of the tube out, see how much debris we've got in there and put it all back together. Stay tuned. So as you can see, I've already taken the gun apart. Partially, I've removed the barrel and the front stock. All that's left is a little cap, which I just left on there for demonstration purposes. You will need a set of pliers. These are a set of spring ring type pliers. So I think needle nose may work, but really this is a, this is a cheap set, but this is more uh, specific to the job that we're gonna need it uh, to do. So here's the little ring that we're going to need to be able to remove with those spring uh, pliers. Now you want to be careful when you do this because this is under spring tension. So the manual actually recommends wearing safety glasses. I'm standing behind this camera so I think I'm safe. But you want to pull this out slowly anticipating that it's going to want to shoot out because of the spring underneath. Uh, just like that. <laughs> All right, so here we have the plug and the spring. I'm gonna take this out and lay it down on the shirt. All right, we are gonna clean inside the tube here in just a second, but let's start with this. So it's not too bad. It did feel a little dry and kind of almost sticky gritty a little bit. So it does have some, some build up residue. You want to pay attention to the ends. So the flat end here is the side where the plug goes and this end goes down into the, uh, the tube. But first we're going to see about cleaning inside of this tube. So here I just tilted the gun down and got the little stopper out. So the spring goes inside of here. This is the side that comes out that you push the shell up against. You can see it's got it's got a little wear. Um, some debris will clean this up and oil it up as well. So first I'm going to run this tornado brush through this to see if there's any debris I need to knock out. I don't know if it'll go in through this side. Nope. I'm going to use a little bit of this Hoppies number 9 with the swab and try to get them from that side and, and go through. I can't, I'm not having much luck putting the shirt through. You can kind of see in there a little bit. It's, I don't think it's corrosion, but it's a, it's just a little rough looking, just slightly. It's probably just from wear of that little button moving back and forth. So I'm just going to try to clean this up some more in here. Doesn't feel too bad, but I'm going to work in there with that little swab and maybe get some other little towels in there. See if I can't clean this out a bit more. Really not too bad. 
feels a lot smoother. So altogether, this is about the total amount of fouling in that magazine tube. Again, this is after about 2,000 rounds, including some duck hunting and some inclement weather and riding in the four-wheeler, etc. And so, uh, not too bad. Uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm cleaning it. I think it's something that you need to do maybe at the end of the season or every once in a while. Hasn't affected the function of the gun, um, but I don't want to have a failure and I don't like wearing my stuff more than it needs to be. So, give it a quick clean. I'm going to put a little bit of gun oil on the different parts and pieces and put it back together. Alright, so now that we have the parts cleaned up, um, I feel like the spring is, is pretty clean, but it feels a little dry. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Benelli oil on another clean, cleaner cloth and, uh, and rub this down and get uh, everything nice and lubed up and put it back in together. Alright, so here's the tricky part, right? You don't have to shove it in all the way, I believe you can just put this cap back on and let it do the work. Seems to be functioning. Put the gun back together and make sure it's uh, still working properly. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks again for watching. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.